Hello, in this snip, I want to talk about do, do while, while, and do until loops. So we're going to just get loopy. That was a, that was a terrible, terrible joke. But anyway, we're going to get loopy in this snip. First thing I want to talk about is do loops. So do loops, as my comments uh, most helpfully suggest here, is they always perform an action once and check for conditions last. So to uh, give you an example of that, so let's say that we have a, a service called problem service. Maybe we have one of those infamous services on one of those servers that for whatever reason, this random piece of software has a service that has to be up, but always constantly crashes. And we've decided to have a script set up that would constantly monitor this thing. And we can do this by using a do loop. So the do loop tries to first start the service. So regardless if the service is stopped, it's started, whatever, it's always going to run the line five there first before anything. And then once it does that the first time on line six there, it's then going to be do this other expression, the while loop here. So it's actually going to run, get service again, check if the status is equal to stopped or not. So it's going to do this over and over and over again while the service is stopped. So it's a really good real world example of how this works. So the do loop always runs a command first. So let me actually put a real world service in here. If I replace this, I, I believe this is a real service. So let's do this, remove this out of here. And first of all, let's just see if this runs. Okay. Yes, so uh, the WUAU SERV service is a real service on this machine. Let's see the status of it now. It is running, okay? So when I run this, this should try to start it. It's probably, it's already going to be started. And then after it tries to start it, it's going to check and see if it's stopped or not. And if it is stopped, it's going to continue. So it's it was real quick because it tried to start it it was already started and then hit the while loop here and it checked the status to see if it was stopped if it was stopped it would have ran start service again but it wasn't it's was very quick so a do loop is good for whenever you want to run an action once at least next one is a while loop a while loop is similar but you can see here from the comments it does check the condition first and then runs the action last so again, let's change this to a, uh, a real service here. So I will change problem service, remove all this stuff out of here. Okay, and now you notice that it's flipped. The condition to actually check to continue with the loop is up here is on line 12 versus on line six up there. So the while loop checks the condition first and only if that condition is true, it will then run the start service. So I will run this again. Notice it's very fast because the it didn't actually get down to line 13 because it didn't need to be started. The condition was checked ahead of time. So let's say that I go over here and change this to start it. Well, what do you think is going to happen now? I think it's probably going to just loop forever. Oh, it didn't. Okay, so... Why didn't that loop forever? So let's see, we'll do some, some impromptu troubleshooting here. So we try this out, we check the condition. The condition is false, it says it's not started. So let's see what the status is. The status is actually running, okay? So let's change this to running. I bet now it's going to loop forever. So now it's going to loop forever because the um, condition is running. It's going to check the condition. Um, the condition was true. It's going to try to run, try to run, try to run, and it's just going to run forever until it crashes my computer. Um, so that is the while loop. The while loop checks the condition first and then does the action next. And then finally we have the do until. This one is, is similar, but it's kind of opposite of the do while loop. So the do until loop runs the condition first. All the do loops run the condition first. So I will change this to my WUAU SCRV again here so we can have a real example. And then this does something until something else is true. So 
this actually is different. So notice that we have on line six, we have this, the condition is while the service is stopped. And in line 22, it does exactly the same thing logically. This is kind of where you get into some Boolean algebra sort of stuff to where until and while are two completely different words, if you think about it. While you're doing something, something happens. Until, that kind of says, I want to do this until something ends. So they're different. So in this instance, here on line 21 through 22, this does exactly the same thing because the while and until are completely opposite. It's doing the same thing because I have it inverted because in line 22 there, I'm checking the status of running versus on line six, I'm checking the status of stopped. Same thing. This would be completely opposite. It's a kind of a, it's a little unintuitive at first if you're not used to it, but notice that that will just run forever because the service is actually started and it's trying to go until it's stopped. This would be fine if I had this to stop service here. So let's actually figure out what's going to happen here. We change this to stop. Now it actually did stop the service when I check the service. Now it's stopped. So notice that it's, it's kind of flipped on its head. The do until and the do while are opposites of each other. That was a introduction to do, do while, while, and do until loops. So we got uh, loopy. Hope you're still okay. Thanks for watching.